Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Mike, and welcome to my backyard garden. Today, we are going to transplant some tomato plants into their permanent uh, pot, fabric pot, for this spring's growing season. As you can see, I have a real nice size plant here. I'm gonna leave that in this pot, perhaps shift it over just a hair to the center to give the roots more room to grow about. The two smaller plants within this container, I'm gonna transplant an exact same size, 15 gallon fabric container uh, for their permanent grow this season. I'm gonna use 90% uh, miracle Grow raised bed soil and 10% stay green potting mix. Uh, the reason for that is I put the uh, raised bed soil in the bottom 90% of the uh, grow bag and I put 10% of the stay green potting mix on top and my reasoning for that is to give the seedlings, these younger plants, room, uh, the nutrients which is in the potting mix to get them a nice boost and get them going. That's why I do that. I will then add in some bone meal for calcium. Uh, so we can eliminate the chances of getting uh, blossom end rot on the fruit as well as I'm going to put in a sulfur fungicide to help reduce the amount of uh, blight entering the plant leaves and potentially destroying the crop as well as adding mulch on top of that again to separate the any possible fungi spores from the blight as well as retain moisture within the soil for the plant's benefit. As you can see, that is, uh, I filled up the new fabric pot with one bag of the miracle Grow raised bed soil. That bag is one and a half cubic yards, approximately 42 and a half liter size bag. Now the remaining I'm gonna to top off with, again, uh, the stay green potting mix um, for reasons I just mentioned and then we'll get to the uh, transplanting of the plants. And this is the pot after I've added the 10% of the uh, stay green potting mix. Next, we're gonna do the uh, uh, separation of the plants and transplant them into the, uh, their new permanent uh, grow space. What I'm doing is I'm digging wide around the roots as if I was an excavator and so you're not you're damaging limited amounts of the roots okay on these two smaller ones yeah so and then you create your space here for the first one I just set it right in there like that Create your next excavation for your next one. We're gently going to push this guy over just a hair to the middle barely disturbing his roots at all. And that'll give, definitely allow him to uh, utilize the whole uh, space for the root growth in the whole bag instead of on one side and the roots get air pruned on here. So yeah, that's how we're gonna do that. This one here is gonna be fed going forward with chemical nutrients, liquid chemical nutrients. These two here going forward will be fed with uh, my organic mix of guinea pig manure and used aquarium water. Aquarium, aquarium water that I've changed out for my fish aquarium inside. Very natural, totally organic and healthy for the plants. Okay. I'm using this uh, Bonide brand sulfur plant fungicide. It's a dry powder. I'm going to shake it onto the soil, like so, just scatter it about. And this is going to help control, hopefully, kill off any uh, blight fungi spores that are playing about. And I'm going to apply this every 
couple of weeks for the first six weeks we do this. On top of that, I'm gonna add some Burpee uh, brand organic bone meal. This is gonna add the calcium we need and some phosphorus as well. And this is going to minimize blossom end right and hopefully just totally eliminate it. And as we water top water, this will get all into the soil, okay? That's about a quarter cup, uh, maybe a little more on each one. Now we're going to gently water all this in. Get that bone meal calcium going, get that fungicide going in there. So really just... Now we'll move it to its uh, final resting place here as it grows. And uh, that is it. Now I'm gonna add some mulch and that'll probably wrap up this video after that. Okay, the mulch I'm putting on top is a uh, no float cypress blend. Uh, it's brown in color. I'll try to minimize any colorants artificial or, other or otherwise. So I'm gonna add this uh, in just a moment. So now we're gonna add the mulch. And again, retain the moisture in the soil for the roots so they don't have to water as often. Also, um, help keep that blight fungus away, which has really been nasty the last few years. Now, I've been planting these tomatoes, my tomatoes, over by the house, which is about, I don't know, 40 feet from here. Hopefully, there'll be enough distance to separate it from the spores that may have been left behind from the prior grows. Uh, I'm going to do that for a couple growing seasons and see if when I go plant my tomatoes back in that space I used to that hopefully the blight uh, will have it minimized if, if not moved on from that spot. Okay guys, that's it, how we transplant uh, my tomato plants. I will do an update uh, going forward through this spring growing season. I wanna thank you for watching. If you found this informative, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. It's very much appreciated and very helpful to the channel. Uh, thank you for hanging out in my backyard garden.